Today I bought a hype to answer another question for me. Because this nigga will not leave. Because he keep complaining about how he drove so far. We don't even know where this nigga live at. And I'm um, supposed to get paid. You're not getting paid. I said on the last episode, you can play it back. You're not getting paid. Drink your vitamin water, nigga. More than likely I'm going to get paid, but this is vodka. I'm just going to go ahead with the question, okay? Give it to me. All right, my question to you is, I'm going to set it up first. With all the uh, recent events that's been going on, like dead celebrities and people digging up stuff about dead celebrities, the question I have to ask for you is, do you feel like a celebrity that's been dead for a certain amount of time, uh, legacy can be tarnished? Yes, mm. but I say that in a lame way, and that's just because we live in the age of complaining or whatever. What's me, this new shit? The, the Me Too era? Yeah, it's like a fake outrage. It that's is fake the, outrage. That's the, yeah. Right. Yeah, so in this era, anything can happen. That's like saying, like, bro, you know, the, that's with the whole Michael Jackson documentary and shit. Like, I ain't even watched this shit. Did bro, you watch this shit? No, but Russell did, and he he gave us some insight, and it's some shit that I just can't get out of my head. Me and Elk was talking like, talk about last night before this podcast. This nigga was like, oh, that nigga Russell told us that one of the victims said Michael Jackson was like eating his booty, bro. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> Just the image of the king of pop out here eating boy ass. <laughs> bro, you like slowed it down like you were gonna say something deep. No, like, bro. They talk I don't about know how to say this shit, dog. Like, but Sam Michael Jackson was. Can you picture this nigga? Kids boobs, dog. Bro, like, can you picture this nigga S curl and all out here eating ass, bro? Kid ass. Hey man, sometimes you. No, ain't no sometimes. Where you going with this? You gotta do what you gotta do. Bro. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm serious, no. <laughs> Listen, this is my problem with the Michael Jackson thing. It's Besides my problem. Boy, he has that? Man, I, honestly, I, I don't want to be a dick, but I don't <laughs> care if Michael Jackson fucked these kids. Man. Whoa, why not? Because you don't know it these kids. It's, it wasn't my kid. That's I don't true. know Michael Jackson. That's true. Like, I wish I can't, well, I, like if the kid is traumatized, I wish it didn't. It's happen. not gonna fuck fuck up Billie Jean for you, right? Uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking to this old white lady the other day, and she said, um, I was putting some R. Kelly music on my on my phone. She said, I don't care if he's a pervert. I just love his music. She really? I mean, I was like, that's how people are, but nobody <laughs> wanted to admit it. One, one of my cousins was like, man, fuck that shit, nigga. I'm playing R. Kelly song on my snaps, and nobody is going to fight me because I have a gun. I'm like, okay. But no, to me, the Michael Jackson shit, the R. Kelly shit, we honestly knew about all this shit 15 years ago. It's, and it's like now that. everyone is angry. I'm like, yo, niggas don't give a Bruh, fuck about you this You understand, this nigga got arrested in 2001 for that shit. And then you look at all the hits he had after that shit. Like yeah. Ignition, of course. Happy People. Nigga, I heard, how many cookouts have you been to? You heard Happy People. I've never heard that song before. Well, one, two, step. Oh, I've heard that song a million yeah, times step, before. Step, step, step. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say yeah. the rest because I'm... Sue. Copyright, you know, yeah. especially yeah. Kelly. Apparently, he's broke. How it is according to him? He just sung his daughter happy birthday to do rag, so yeah, he might be broke. But uh, my Why? heart goes out to him, man. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, Why? I'm just, I, I don't give a fuck about R. Kelly. So either way, I'm like, I don't give a fuck enough to bash him, and I don't give a fuck enough to say it. You know what'd be wild? Like, like we don't have we don't have any real concrete evidence of all this shit. So it would be wild as fuck if this shit ain't even real and it really is. Oh, I of course music. always think that. Like it's all allegations. Of it's course. not even valid shit. Yeah, like I'm one of those people that's like R. Kelly, you got to be guilty. But I also th- look at it like, what the fuck do I know? Yeah, I'm like, the type of person to not believe everything I see. Of it's course. like Until, you know, it's actual proof proof. Of like course. Just, oh, we did a 10 episode documentary on this nigga. It was some dude, an old <laughs> white guy. Fuck. What was his name? He was like in the old western movies and shit. And they said that he had some interview from him and like, it was in Playboy magazine or something where he was like openly using the word nigga. Mm. It was like one of them high profile I mean, the cowboy. It was John used- Wayne. Bam! That's who John it was. Wayne? Yeah. He right? looked like he say nigga. So listen, I'm not bro. surprised that he got caught for it. So I see people like they're mad John Wayne said nigga or whatever, right? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Let me look up John Wayne because y'all, you know, I don't give a fuck about celebrities whether they, I don't know. So yeah, you said y'all like crackers already, so that makes sense. Wow. Uh, so I look up this nigga John Wayne and I see he died in like the 90s or something. Yeah. I'm like, how can we care about something like this? You're telling me like we're mad because an old white man was racist in 1965? It's like, what do you want from me? I can't be mad about that. 
Oh, I'm so, just go to his gravesite, just beat his ass and rob him. See, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not I'm that's scared. like that's like we found out like five years down the road that Prince was into some wild, crazy shit. Like he was out here selling bitches. But, but I, I wouldn't put it past Prince. I that's wouldn't. Prince. It wouldn't mean anything to me, man. It wouldn't. Like I'm gonna go to work like I normally do. And exactly. Not fuck about this shit. I don't give a fuck about this shit. So that's kind of my thing. I don't. I don't give. So their reputation can't be tarnished. I mean, they're dead. Who? Why? They don't give a fuck. It can be though. Like I said, that's the issue. Like, you can't tell me this shit ain't uh, tarnished Michael uh, Jackson re- uh, reputation now. Even though it's shit you already know, just because it's, it's new. If it, if it helps, what? It, yeah, picture him eating kid ass. It's just, it's just, that was just it for me. Yeah, I didn't hear about that part. I thought that yeah, was. Yeah, it was on. I mean, that is usually where I, I didn't go back and look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, I didn't go back and look. I was had to like do do some research. I was like, man, that's what? Yeah, that's, that's, kid ass. that's too wild, bro. Yeah, that's unbelievable, man. I, that's crazy, man. It's because people are crazy, man. People are crazy. Yeah. It's, it always just tripped me out that they be like, you know, they, they try to pay us off for hush money. That's why I have to came for this certain amount of time. Blah, 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 blah. But come on, bro. But when you swear under oath he didn't do anything, like, I kind of don't care. And mind you, I don't care about being under oath. I assure you that if I needed to lie you said it best, under oath, I would. What did he say? I, uh, I'm going to tell a lie no. Yeah, yeah. I would too, for what? Why? How would you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> like, you're gonna shoot me gonna if I blank to go to prison. Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> like, I'm lying to not go to prison. Fuck that. Of course. Shit. Exactly. Who, but, yeah. also, who, who the hell would tell the truth to, to go to prison? No one. Exactly. And that's another thing. This, this is one of those things people pretend like they give a fuck about. People don't give a fuck about being under oath. No, no one would rather tell the truth under oath than go to prison. That my, would be foolish. My baby mama. What? She would tell the truth under oath? No, she would lie up on oath. She has lied up on oath. She ain't give a fuck. I don't, I don't think you should. Oh, oh, I don't think you should say that. You. Alrighty. She did? I caught out on it. It's fine. Okay, cool. We, we're cool now, though, but when she was live, she was like, man, fuck her. That's uh, legal, though. You know that, right? To lie up an oath? Yeah. Say it's who? Perjury? Why? What's the whole point? Perjury? Never. That's illegal. Right, that's what I said. It's illegal oh, to man. lie. Judge don't care. It's a baby mama state where we live in. It. <laughs> baby mama That's state. That's what they call Florida, the baby mama state. That's what it is. It's fine. Respect. It's, it's fine. We good. Now, my child's support got lower. Oh. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Kudos that. to me. Yes, I know. You know how to get the child support to zero? Get back with me? Oh. What? Yeah. You know what? I did. <laughs> <laughs> we on camera. <laughs> we are on camera. Um... You got anything else you want to ask? Get up out of here, man. No, man. I just I know a guy. I'll say that. All right. Perfect. I don't want that. <laughs> you should tell me about it later. That is very horrible. Makes sense, man. I'm not a bad person, and I agree with you. Please don't kill her. I wouldn't. She's cool. Thank you. All right. So on that note, man, we out of here. If you want to send any topics to your boy or any suggestions about what the next topic should be on the show, um, hit us up at Mail at Podcast. That's Mail at Podcast. And we out.